In this video, we will be walking through a history match workflow in RS. We will use pie chart bubbles to identify areas where the simulated water production is much greater than the historical water production. The property modifier tool will then be used to make the appropriate changes to the grid properties, specifically in the problem areas. And before the pie charts are created, we will use the filter dialog to isolate specific wells that we wish to see in the display. For my current project, I already have both the grid solution and production data loaded. For my XY data sets, I have both the simulation and historical data. So we're going to use the filter tool in RS to create a selection set. I'm going to choose to look at only the wells and use the sorting tool to sort my entities by descending oil production. So now my largest producing wells will be on top. Later while I'm looking at the grid data, I want to isolate the wells which are my top 10 largest producers. So now I could create a selection set. So right now I'm going to highlight the top 10 wells on the entity list. I'm going to give this selection set a name. I'm going to call it top 10 producers. I've now created a selection set that can be recalled at any time. So now we're looking at the 3D grid solution. With the wells turned on, I'm going to go into the wells option dialog. Under the selection sets, you'll notice our top 10 producers. I'm going to replace this selection set from the current selection list. Press apply and close. So now I've isolated the wells that were in that top 10 producer selection set. Now, since I have my production data loaded into the same project, I could take advantage of the pie chart bubbles to look at my history match for water production. First, I'm going to turn on my bubbles and go into the options menu. So I'm going to look at my history match in two different ways. So in this data set, the history variables are included in the data set. So right now I'm going to assign both the WPR and WPRH variables as the pie chart segments. And to make the H variable stand out a little bit, I'm going to assign pink as the color for the pie chart segment. And I'm going to say show in pie for both those segments and press apply changes and close. Now as I step through the time steps, you can see the pie chart bubbles change. When the blue dominates the bubble, we know that the well is overproducing. There is an alternate way of looking at this data. In this case, my history data is included in a separate file, so I could set up my delta bubbles. If I choose WPR and select the Show Deltas option, and choose the SPE history as my delta file, and press Apply, Now the bubbles will display the history match in a different way. If the bubbles are blue, the well is overproducing, and if it's white, it's underproducing. So after this analysis, I want to make some modifications to my grid properties in the problem areas, rerun my simulation to get better results. So right now I'm going to go into Data, Sim Input, and Cells to go into my property modifier. So I want to make modifications to my permeability, so I'm going to change the grid display to PermX. I'm going to choose to make modifications within a boundary that I draw. So it's going to force me into a top-down view. Now I see that both wells 609 and 709 are both underproducing at the last time step. I'm going to draw a polygon around this problem area and choose to increase the permeability by 500 in this region. And press Apply Modifiers to Plot. Now this is for visualization purposes only. 
No changes to the actual grid have been made. Now I could choose to output an ASCII file with the modifications I've made. I'm first going to choose the simulator output format I want and select File and save this out to appropriate place. The text file that is created can be used with the simulation input deck on your next run. There are a few options on how to write out the data. I'm going to choose to output the entire array by selecting the copy values option. You may continue making modifications in this dialog and the changes will append to the output file. In this video, we've learned how to isolate the largest producing wells using the filter dialog. We visualize our history water match by using pie chart bubbles and we made grid property modifications based on all of our analysis. Thank you for watching.